one of the simplest toys on the market, the Slinky has been around for more than 60 years, and more than 300 million of the springy toys have been sold worldwide since then. John Frankel has a story of how the brand got its unlikely start. <laughs> Wait a minute. In 1943, Betty James was married to a naval engineer named Richard James, who was working on a device to stabilize shipboard instruments. A spring took a step in the lab he was working in, and he looked at it, and he picked it up and tried it again, and it, it did it again, and he took it home to Mom. And he said, you know, there's something here. Richard James worked for two years to perfect the toy, and then one winter night, he and Betty set up a table at the Gimbel's department store in Philadelphia to try to entice buyers. Betty asked a friend to come along. I gave her a dollar, and I said, let's go down and we'll each buy one and make him feel better. Well, we got off the elevator, and over in one corner, there were just hundreds of people waving dollar bills, and my husband was in the middle of it. That night, they sold 400 slinkies in just 90 minutes. And from there, they took off. Sunday night at 10, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, here the bombshell Richard James later handed his family, a bombshell that forced his wife to take over the company and bring it back from the brink.